there's a lot of coal in the world, and uh, the coals are very different. Some of the coals have a lot of moisture content in them, and what dry fining technology does is it reduces that moisture prior to burning. Because collaboration leads to innovation, NETL partners with organizations that share its desire to enable clean, secure, abundant energy for the United States. NETL's Strategic Center for Coal manages a wide range of projects that are developing new power plant technologies and moving them from lab to market. Under the Department of Energy's Clean Coal Power Initiative, NETL worked with Great River Energy to demonstrate Great River's state-of-the-art process for improving power production using low-rank coals, such as lignite, common to America's western, midwestern, and southern states. The process is called dry fining, and Great River Energy is using it to increase operating efficiencies and reduce the emission of pollutants, including carbon dioxide. The reduced moisture in the coal makes the coal burn better and more cleanly and more efficiently, um, and that improves the power plant economics, which in turn reduces your cost of electricity. Great River Energy tested dry fining prototype dryer modules at its Coal Creek station, and because of the project's success and operational savings, it was able to retrofit the entire 1100 megawatt Coal Creek station with lignite dryers. Dry fining at the Coal Creek station reduced sulfur dioxide and mercury by more than 40%, nitrogen oxide by more than 20%, and carbon dioxide by 4%, which meant that separate emissions removal systems didn't have to be added to the plant. These results reduced the Coal Creek station's annual expenses by more than $20 million. While high moisture coals are less efficient than high rank coal, these coals are abundant and inexpensive. Roughly 9% of the coal mined annually in the United States is lignite, so it's an important source for electricity generation. It's a matter of abundance and distribution and economics. In places like the Gulf Coast um, and the western states like Wyoming, Montana, and North Dakota where you have high moisture, low rank coals, it really behooves people to use their local indigenous fuel and that makes you know that makes a lot of economic sense to do that. The United States has about 280 power stations burning high moisture coal, producing one-third of the electric power generated by coal in the country. Worldwide, 50 percent of the coal reserves are lower rank, so many countries greatly depend on this resource for energy. Coal-fueled power plants are expensive to build, operate, and maintain but they have a real cost advantage because coal is usually cheaper than other fuels. Taken over a 20, 30, or 50 year plant life, that lower fuel cost can more than offset the other higher costs of a coal power plant. If you applied the dry fining technology to all of the power plants in the United States for like a 20 year period, the cost savings would be on the order of $10 billion. And that money would not go to the companies, but because it's a reduced fuel cost in the power generation, it would lower your bill as an electric ratepayer. The benefits from government investment in research and development are impressive. Our efforts have helped reduce emissions of sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, particulates, and mercury released during energy production by millions of tons annually. That's beneficial to our environment and has a positive impact on the consumer's bottom line.